Hey everyone! So in the comments section of my previous video, Mike asked if it was possible for MeshFusion to produce a symmetrical mesh. Uh, by default, I don't think MeshFusion will produce a perfectly symmetrical mesh, even if the source mesh items are symmetrical. Uh, however, if our ultimate goal is to have a mesh that is symmetrical, then we can easily use the symmetrize mesh operation in conjunction with the merge meshes mesh operation. So that's what I'm going to show uh, in this quick video. Uh, so as you can see, this mesh is not symmetrical. We have this side here, which is kind of like curved, and uh, there's uh, subtractive elements uh, on the side here, and on this side it's almost completely flat. Um, so right now I only have the fusion item visible. I'm just going to make that invisible. And then I'll press N for new mesh item. And I'm going to rename this MM for merge meshes, uh, which you can name it anything really. And I'll just call this z uh, 0001. Uh, you can name it anything. Uh, so it's an empty mesh item. I'm going to come over here and click on this button to open up my uh, procedural stack. And I'll add an operator. I'll just type in merge. And I'm going to choose merge meshes. And then in the sources section, I'll add a source. And I'm going to add my fusion item, which is named fuse underscore 0001. So I'll double click on that. And now if I go into polygons mode by pressing 3, and if I double click on one of these, uh, any polygon, uh, you can see that it's only selecting uh, some of the polygons. And this is based on how the fusion source items are um, kind of uh, connecting together. Uh, so this also means that uh, this mesh is not airtight. So on top of this merge meshes mesh operation, I'm going to add a merge vertex or a vertex merge mesh operation. Now, as soon as I add that, uh, my uh, mesh begins to look a little bit lumpy. And that's because this mesh is actually very small. This is probably about um, like about five or six inches. Uh, so I have to come over to the vertex merge and I have to decrease the distance of the um, vert merge. So I'm going to bring this all the way down to one um, micrometer. And now we get our um, all of our kind of definition of our fusion item back. Uh, and if I press 3 to go into polygons mode and double click the item, I can see it looks airtight. If I hold control and click on edges with all of the polygons selected, I can see that converts it to all edges, which confirm, confirms that this is indeed airtight. Okay, so on top of this vertex merge, I'm going to add the symmetrize uh, mesh operation. So I'll come over to add operator, and I'll just type in symmetrize. And by default, it uh, symmetrizes on the x-axis, which is fine. Maybe that's uh, what you're looking for. I'm going to switch it over to the z. And that's pretty cool, but I think I'd really like this to be on the uh, negative to positive, and right now the direction is positive to negative. So as soon as I do that, uh, you can see this is the sort of uh, effect we get. Now if I press 3 to go into polygons mode, and if I hold Alt and click on symmetry to bring up the symmetry popover, I can enable symmetry on the Z and enable symmetry and you can see now we are actually working symmetrically. So this is truly symmetrical. Uh, I'm just going to turn that off for now and get rid of that popover. Um, I can see here we have like a little bit of a uh, like a dimple here. Uh, if we want to get rid of that we have to either we could probably just select the fusion item, uh, press 5 to go into items mode, W for move, and then let's move this a little bit. I'm just moving it in the positive Z. And as I move that, that dimple should disappear. And it's almost completely gone. Let's just move it a little bit more and see what happens. There we go. So now it's completely gone. And we have this sort of effect on the top, which is pretty good. Uh, what's interesting is now we can add another symmetrize mesh operation. So I'll just add another symmetrize here. And this time we can leave it in the X. 
Um, by turning it on and off, we can just see the effect that we're getting. So that's how we're getting this kind of like X uh, effect here. So that's pretty cool. And again, we still have one more dimension to work with, so I can always add another symmetrize. And this time, we can go in the Y axis. So that's pretty cool. And even though this is all um, procedural, uh, so we can't do regular uh, modeling operations, so if I select these polygons and press B for bevel, uh, we'll get this warning. But all we really have to do is select everything here, uh, control C to copy, N for new mesh item, control V to paste, and then we can just hide everything else. Uh, and in this new mesh, uh, we can actually uh, bevel and use all of the standard uh, destructive modeling operations. Uh, so I really hope this uh, quick video has been helpful. Uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Pixel Fondue.